Yo, YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground. I'm out here with my friend, Javi Havy. Hello. Yeah, we're going to do a little trailer breakdown analysis. Of yeah, the... <laughs> Mike was super excited. Like, uh -huh. we were going to wait for the end of the week for the podcast, yeah. for the end of E3, but, you know, this is something, this channel is very, very Halo. passionate about. Yeah, about. very passionate about Halo. So we had to talk yeah. about it. So, and if you haven't seen it. Yeah, before anything, here's the trailer. of our future are sown in his past. All right, so I think the first thing you got to know is that the trailer is actually for the Master Chief Collection. Yes. I found that very strange. I mean, uh. you know, they, 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 they were talking about a lot about Halo 5 and there was rumors about this yeah. collection coming out. Yeah. And they kind of did a, like a little mix of both. Yeah, because kind of combined both things. Because for for sure, this new character, which they they showed before in a concept art, mm -hmm. or like it was supposed to be the cover art of the game. The mirror image. Yeah, the right? mirror image, which you're seeing right now, is uh, this new character called Agent Lock. Brand new character. They confirmed brand new character. It's not anybody not else. Not Cortana. Not Cortana. <laughs> not not Palmer. Not anybody, but somebody new that we've never met before. So. Um, even though it's a Master Chief Collection trailer, this is actually connects to Halo 5 Guardians. And then at the conference, they made a big deal about saying that this, they're all going to connect together. Yeah, they right? said that they're going to leave, they're going to actually put more, a little bit more footage into Halo 2. Yeah, they said in, okay, so here, here, here's some stuff though. Before we get to the actual breakdown of the actual trailer, here's some information. They said, for one, on the Halo 2 anniversary, they're going to add... A, a new prologue and a new epilogue that's going to connect to Halo 5 and they're going to add terminals which like in all the other Halos you got to find mm -hmm. and when you when you unlock them it'll also give you more information connecting to Halo 5. Okay. So obviously. It's going to be like hidden stuff that could have been part of 2 before they're going to like implement it. Yeah ex exactly. All right so now to the actual trailer. Obviously the person who's talking is Keith David the Arbiter. Right. Yeah Keith the David AD. is a voice actor. Yeah, yeah. he's a He's one of the main characters in part two and part three. You've drawn quite a crowd. If they came to hear me beg, they will be disappointed. Are you sure? It's obvious to me that they want to connect it somehow, him to mm -hmm. Halo 5. Yes, right. I mean we didn't really see him. You see him kind of in the in the in the reflection yeah. of the visor, but we we're we're very confident that it's him. Yeah. So if you, if you look um, at the end of the trailer right here, you'll see. If you, I'll stop it right here. You see a hand, I and mean, it looks like an elite, mm -hmm. right? And then in the next frame right here, you'll see the visor of of um, Agent Locke, and you see right. You see it. It looks like it looks like an elite. It looks like an elite. It's you know a little bit vague. Yeah. And then the other thing that you noticed as well was that when they opened the, the kind of the window yeah. of the ship or the door or wherever they're at, 
it looks like some sort of city. So they're not in space. They're in some sort of city, right? right. It looks very just like a desert area, like the, yeah. the, the colors and stuff. Yeah, you found some concept art. Yeah, uh, I was just, you know, I was just randomly looking at it. It, it, it reminded me of the trailer. I was like, hey, yeah. Mike, uh, yeah. take a look at this. What is yeah, this? so we saw, so here, look at this concept art, which 343 released a couple of months ago. And, and if you look, there's a statue right here and that to me that clearly looks like an yeah yeah. yeah and and I, he's holding what it looks like a energy sword right so i would say that this has to be so for you guys who play halo and know all this terminology this looks like sangelios the home planet of the sangeli who are the elite the right. elite guys where the arbiter left too. yeah at the end of part three he, after the war was over he was going to go back home and go to his home planet. So it, that part of it makes sense. I would like to see a long one. To know that it is safe. Fear not. For we have made it safe. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. So after they showed the trailer, the trailer was the first thing they showed, 343. After that, Bonnie Ross spoke a little bit, saying, listen to what she says right here. At the end of Halo 4, Master Chief was mourning the loss of his closest companion. He was questioning everything, his role, his purpose, and who and what he was fighting for. Now Master Chief begins a deeply personal journey, questioning authority and searching for the truth. Um, we wanted to be really deliberate about the story we told. And as you can see, we've got a little mystery going on that does involve Chief's past and his future. I think so. So the key things to take away from that would be, I think that he's questioning authority. Yes. And there's a mystery about his past. Right. And you also see him questioning authority. You remember, you showed me that clip. Where yeah. And there's that clip in Halo 4. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where he's, uh, you know, no to the yeah. superior. No, sir. No, sir. And yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, check, check this clip out. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. He's starting to think for himself. Exactly. And, and and Master Chief, like, he was abducted since he was five years old. And he's been indoctrinated with all this military right. stuff. And he's never really questioned authority. He believes in the military. Yeah, and he the has full, his full life is for the military. Yeah. That's all he knows. Exactly. So there's, oh, there's been theories. So last E3, as you guys remember the last trailer, there's that trailer where he has the, the, the cloak. You don't even know his Master Chief. Yeah. Like, you're like... Is that a Jedi? Like, <laughs> yeah, he has a he has a cloak on, and then when you see his when they reveal that it's Master Chief, you see his visor, mm -hmm. and it's cracked. Yes, and you made a yeah. you you pointed out to me that yeah. why why is it cracked? Yeah, because if it was if he was still in the UNSC, that they would have fixed it already. He would have been there, but yeah. this whole question and authority theme is yeah. starting to be maybe he's rebelling. Yeah, maybe he's gone rogue. Yeah, and I, I, the, that theory has been thrown around a lot, and I really, really believe that. And especially now with Bonnie mm -hmm. Ross saying this, that he's questioning authority, it makes complete sense. And also with the fact that, you know, in the trailer with the Arbiter and Locke, we're looking, they're looking for him. Yeah. So obviously, he's either, he's either gone missing or he's gone rogue and they're trying to get him back. Yeah, and they're trying to find him. And, and of course... At the end of Halo 4, he's still with the UNSC. He's still with the army. So some something something happened. Right. Okay. And the second half of the whole what Bonnie Ross said is the mysteries of his past. This right. is really the interesting part. I haven't seen really too many theories on this. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think? What what was going? To be on? honest, I mean, the only thing I can think of. I mean, I was thinking in my head that it could be prior to him. You know, before we know him, like, you know, yeah. before Halo, yeah. we're going to talk about that. But I'm mean, like, maybe not. Maybe because of this whole remastered, maybe we're going to learn things that we didn't learn about yeah. the first time we played them. These new story elements they're going to put in. But I'm still not even 100% sure on that. I, I know one thing for sure is that they, when, when they would show these teasers and trailers, they honestly, they never just think stuff up mm -hmm. and just like, oh, we'll throw whatever in there. Right. Like, I think even though this is really just a teaser, I think every single thing is in there for a reason. And like, 
This specific moment in time is one of the most iconic moments in Halo when he, you know, he tells he tells Lord Hood like to give the Covenant back their bomb. Right. Which is act. I'll show you right now. Watch this. <laughs> the carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Negative, Commander. Not against a ship that size. Not on your own. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Permission granted. What I've just been trying to think over is like, why is it this specific moment in time? Mm -hmm. I still don't know the answer to that. But I think it's going to play a role. So I think that's something we need to keep our eye yeah. on. But as far as like the whole mystery of his past, to me, like I go back to Master Chief being abducted. He's an orphan. Yeah, he's essentially an orphan. His parents are still somewhere, but he has no knowledge of them. Yeah, exactly. He, all, like, you, like we said earlier, it's all the military. So one theory could be like, is he gonna go off and search for his parents? But that doesn't I don't know. I don't. I don't. I mean, they don't. I mean, he was taken at some, such a young age that I mean, to be honest, they don't have any influence in him. So there wouldn't be a reason necessarily for me to think yeah. that that's what he's gonna look for. And I, I agree with you. I throw that theory completely out the window. But like I said, he he is an orphan, and he did. Now, if you read the books, I read Follow Reach. Oh, okay, I didn't. And, yeah, yeah, well, okay, so for those of you who read Follow Reach, you know that he was trained by Sergeant Martinez, who's pretty much his father figure, and the father figure to all the Spartan 2s. Okay. And his mother figure, and a mother figure to all the Spartan 2s is Ka Catherine Halsey, Dr. Halsey. Right. Which you see that in the games as well, like George and Halo Reach. Um, has a really close connection to her. Like he, she, she's a mother figure, and she yeah. cares about them, especially John. A detailed account of your previous engagement, George. It's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. So it makes sense. Maybe he's gonna try to go search for Halsey. Obviously. I think he would search for Halsey anyway for Cortana. For Cortana, because that's that's his main thing is that he yeah. wants to find how, a way to bring Cortana back, and nobody can bring her back mm -hmm. other than maybe Halsey because right. she's the smartest person in the universe, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. And they're making a real big play on the fact that it's a mystery, so it's something right. that we don't know. So he could definitely do things by himself. Yeah, obviously. But <laughs> right now he doesn't have Cortana, right? and he's you know like we were saying he's an orphan, so. He's in that, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't know what to do anymore. He doesn't yeah. have that, you know, he doesn't, he's not following the military anymore. Yeah, because that's, that's he, all he's ever known exactly. is the military. So can he, on his own, do, like, know what to do? Yeah. Like, is he, or is he going to look for someone to help to him guide him? Guide him. Which is, brings us back to Locke, because I know there were some theories yeah. that Locke was like a, a Yeah, new... some people saying it was a, a girl, it was Cortana. I mean, they, yeah. they, they already kind of shut those down. Yeah. But he could still be maybe some kind of help for him, maybe. Well, I, I one thing is that when, when they first revealed Locke, um, when they revealed the picture, people were assuming that he was going to be the antagonist, that he was going to be the bad guy. Right. And then because also because of, of the shadow kind of yeah because of kind of the reflection of the two, I took it the other way. I thought that they were mirroring each other, not in a bad way, but yeah, as a kind of like an evolution or, or showing that they're the same, one in the same. Like they're know. trying to be like they kind of like not necessarily his replacement, but someone that is trying to be like Chief. Exactly, and and if you look in the trailer again, there's a specific moment which you pointed out was um, when Locke is looking at the video of Chief. He reaches out. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're assuming that he's searching for Chief. We yeah. have no idea why. Yeah. But to me, that whole hand over overhand. Yeah. Is a very emotional kind of. Yeah, it looks really. Because if you exactly yeah. if he would have gone, you know, the underhand and grab. Yeah. That's like you know destruction and stuff. The yeah. overhand is kind of empathy stuff like that. Yeah, it looked like he was like trying to help cheat like almost right, like proactively yeah. like just like oh my god i hope he doesn't die yeah <laughs> even though he's yeah. like he's yeah, watching he, the past he's still yeah so I, I think that i think that's a big like i said i don't think they put any of that stuff in there just just to put it they're just like oh crap we need something for e3 let's just put whatever together. yeah obviously yeah. we're being freaking nerds and reading <laughs> all, a lot into this yeah. stuff but still i think it's really cool that that they put that in there because it, I, I i really believe that it's some sort of sympathetic character some right kind there. of ally whether whatever it be yeah. i'm assuming that i mean you know there was 
problems with the Spartan program in the beginning. Yeah. Know? They they don't know how to handle all situations. Like they do know how to handle the situation they were made for. Yeah. But everything outside of that, they're kind of lost. Yeah. That's why they had Cortana and whatever. Yeah. So it's really gonna be maybe he's there. He's gonna be there to help him at first. Help him. I guess. What is it? Get everything together. Yeah. Figure out his shit. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies, difficulty with socialization, and verbal The records efficiency. show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? I really want this story to to, to involve him as a, a, a protagonist because this guy looks like a beast. Yeah. <laughs> like, or her. I don't know if it's yeah. a girl or whatever. Yeah, I mean, Captain yeah. or Agent Locke. I mean, we still don't know. Yeah, Agent Locke. I mean, a lot of people are saying it. The, just the look of her is very feminine. I, I don't see that. Yeah. But I guess it does look different. Yeah. And uh, I guess the other part where I would say it's probably a good guy is the whole fact that it seems like the Arbiter is helping right. Agent Locke and I don't think the Arbiter has any bad blood yeah like, like if geez. anything our, like all the elites live by like a really strict code of honor oh okay and, right. and even though they did hate like, Chief but they at toward the end they realized that they, they respected him you know <laughs> and they paid even at the end like you guys are looking right here uh, he's at Chief's fun funeral mm -hmm. like supposed funeral because they thought he was dead at the right, end right right I can't forgive you but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Part of the lady's dead. Were it so easy? And even in the trailer, there's he's saying that we need to find him to save. Yeah, you know, to, to save, save ourselves. Him. Yeah, he does say though. He says, "I don't." Even though I, it's not because I trust you. So he's basically saying, "I don't know who you are, maybe right. I don't trust you, but I need your help." Yeah, Agent Locke. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So that's. I mean, that's what a lot of people thought he was a bad guy. I mean, just in general, he. Yeah. That kind of tone is not something you would take with someone that you want to be the protagonist. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, what's your theories on on the trailer? Do you, what's the mystery in Master Chief's past that we're looking for? Do you think and Agent the, Locke is, is helping it, him? Yeah, or, or is it, is Agent Locke a protagonist, or is it, or is he or she an antagonist? So who knows? A lot of interesting questions. Can't wait to see more. Halo 2 anniversary and the whole Halo Master Chief collection comes out November 11th this year, and the there'll beta. be brand new content beta will come out December 27th of this year and Nightfall which I believe is going to tell the story of Agent Locke they say it's some important character in the in Halo 5 oh, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so the Nightfall live action series I think is might be an origin story that's going to be included with the, with with the whole okay. package so make sure you guys check that out we got a lot of Halo videos linked on the bottom if you want to check more out and we'll see you guys later peace peace Because the seeds of our future are sown in his past.